Hey, I'm talking about another Netflix anime. Why? Well, besides being easy to record, they really are pumping these out. With each being wildly different than the last, from kids turning into animals to... Kids turning into... Animals. Alright, just, just forget about that last point. Instead, how about we start talking about Japan Sinks? You know, when something new comes out, be it a new show or a movie, I try not to watch the trailers. Because most of the time, there's spoilers inside of the trailers or even in the plot synopsis itself. So with that being said, here's a little segment I like to call What, what Cry Was Gonna Happen. Was gonna happen. Oh my goodness. With a name like Japan Sinks, I thought something along the lines of a tsunami after a big earthquake. Then the main characters of the show are struggling to survive in this water wasteland. Well, I was almost right. Of course I was fed about the survival, but the tsunami, I was partly off on that one. But I gotta say, Japan Sinks is a apt name for this because this bitch truly is sinking. Like, straight up. But before that, we have to jump all the way to the beginning. I really have to talk about the roller coaster of emotions that was the first episode. Having an overall peaceful opening than a compilation of people living their daily lives. Ah, peace. Just like that song that was everywhere. Ah, ah yes, that one. This is oh, oh my. Cut the mute. This is of course followed by the earthquake that sets everything in motion. Going from peace and tranquility to like, after that scene was over, I felt like I went to the damn thing. And that's when I knew I was gonna like the show. And then three seconds later, I knew I wasn't gonna like it as much as I thought I was. Now tell me, in a situation where your whole class went through a maximum, maximum quake, 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 what's your first reaction? A. At least try to help the girl literally begging for her life. B. Check on anybody. T just anybody to see if they're okay. Or C. Get scared, try to run, cut your leg on something, fall, and then start running. Well, if you picked anything that wasn't C, then you aren't like the MC Ayumu. One of the, one of the worst characters I've seen in a long time. When I talk about something relatively new, I try not to put too many spoilers in it, if any at all, but I can't talk about her without having spoilers, so there you go. And before I even start, don't hit me with, well, Cryo, you see, this is a more realistic approach on a character. Your small mind cannot possibly understand. My third grade teacher once called me cunning, so I think I know what I'm talking about here. Ugh, I can hear him now. For the majority of the story, she does nothing but whine and complain, so much that she literally gets people killed. She got her dad killed, be it a little indirect, but she did refuse to eat what he cooked for her, and she was totally responsible for Nanami's death, and you cannot tell me otherwise. Which sucks, because the more we focus on her, the less we focus on the other characters that over time really grow on you, especially Koga, which in my opinion, didn't get nearly as much screen time as he deserved. Kite was pretty cool too. Alright, there you go, fine. Another bad thing is that you can clearly mark where the show goes from Japan Sinks to Japan Stinks. Yes, yes, thank you. D oh, <laughs> alright, put me down. Right. Oh my god, put me down, put me down, put me down! Alright, I'm talking about the cult episodes. I mean, they don't refer to it as a cult, but come on. Come on, look at that. I, I just really don't know why every disaster show or movie just needs some kind of weird cult. I mean, what did it really do for the story? One of the main takeaways from the little arc is that they met a scientist that knows what's going on and can possibly help them. Also, they met another character that everybody seemed to like, but if I would have found him, I would have pushed him out of my car in the first 30 minutes of knowing him. But the thing is, if they just came here for one character, why did we waste so much time here? I mean, they introduce other characters, but they all die anyways, and they leave zero impact on the show. Except they had a really weird sex scene, I mean, that... That, that confused me, if that's anything. I just wish that instead of that, we would have spent more time with the characters, like we did in the final few episodes. One of my favorite episodes is where Yumu and her brother are stuck on a raft and they just talk. And that's it. Well, I mean, there's like three ad placements, but hey, don't make fun of ad placement raft. They just talk and try to survive, because in a disaster show, the disaster should be secondary. It should be a catalyst to understand and learn about our characters. It shouldn't be about 360 no-scope shot with a bow on a scooter. You have a gun! Just shoot him! Shoot him! Wow, you suck! Just with those last few episodes, I started to hit Ayumu a little less. But just a little. There was a lot of hate still there. Well, at the end of the day, all the problems didn't ruin the show for me. There was a lot of very good character scenes and enough intrigue on the whole situation to keep anybody watching. So I walked away not hating myself, and I guess that's something. Good show, could use some improvements. Thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, and if you have anything to say about the show, be sure to put them in the comments below. Alright, so that's the end of me. See you in the next one.